guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you my top holiday essentials for kids. These are basically things that we take away with us when we go on vacation as a family. We have a six-year-old, a three-year-old, and a 10-month-old. So I didn't know whether I should focus on a specific age or if I should just show you our favorite things that we take away for them. Um, we go away a lot as a family, probably three or four times a year. So the things that I will show you in this video are tried and tested and work. So I really hope you get some tips from this. And yeah, here we go. So the first product that I wanted to show you is the snooze shade. We have had this since we had our first ever baby. It is a blackout that is also breathable. Um, it has lots of little holes in it. I don't know if you can see it, but it is also SPF 50. And obviously you could put a towel or a muslin or anything over your baby's buggy when they're asleep or if you wanted to give them some shade. But what I love about this is it is breathable and it has these tires all around it so that you can attach it to your buggy. So if you are in like a windy place by the sea, it will stay on your buggy. And it also has this little zip so that you can like have a little sneak peek if they're asleep or if they're awake. So yeah, we have loved it. I use it all the time, even when I'm just in England. If my baby is gonna sleep in the buggy, I will put the snooze shade on them. So yeah, I love this product. Next up, I wanted to talk about sun cream. So depending on where you're going, if you're going somewhere hot, you will want to take some sort of sun cream. But I thought it was worth mentioning this one from Garnier. I really like it because it is quite a thin like mist and I find that I can get like the backs of the boys necks very well with this and you know like in and around their ears and under there like all of the places that are quite hard to reach I find this is really really good at reaching those things. I must admit I still use cream sun cream on their face for my very little ones because they don't really know to hold their breath enough if I spray this on their face but I find this really easy especially when you're your kids are like running around and on the move you can kind of chase them and get them and yeah I find it really really easy to use <sighs> sorry I'm choking on it now <laughs> the next thing that I wanted to mention is hats it's so important to protect your children from the Sun with a hat and I just got these two from next this is so sweet uh, I thought it'd be really cute on my baby and then I also got this one which is great because it also protects the back of his neck and although it's a really bright print on this side it is reversible and just a really like normal denim on this side. We also have really cute trilbies from Primark as well. I also love buying these SPF suits for the boys. You can get them in really bright colors like this Hulk one, or we have a really bright minion one as well, so that when you're at the pool, you can see exactly where your children are. But they're great because they are SPF 50, and this covers up a large proportion of your children's skin. I know kids need a little bit of sun, but when it's really hot in the middle of the day, it's great to have these on the kids when they're in the pool. I also love these swim vests that you you can get. I found this one on Amazon. It's called a swim vest and it's really, really comfortable. You can get it in different sizes and it has these things inside it that keep them afloat. But as they become more confident swimmers, you can take these out so that they're not so um, assisted, I guess, in the water. And I just feel really confident when the boys are running around the pool wearing a proper life vest. I find that like blow up armbands irritate them and they want to take them off and they don't really float that well wearing them. So I really like these vests. In terms of toys around the pool, I normally let them buy a big inflatable when we get there, but I love these. These are from the pound shop. You basically suck up water from the pool and spray it at each other. So I got one for each of my older boys and they're literally a pound and they're brilliant. Also love Zog toys. These have lasted for years. I think they're really good quality. They basically sink to the bottom of the pool and then my son will dive down and get them. And yeah, he really, really loves them. Because my two older boys do like going underwater, we have goggles for both of them. Um, I think it's important to get things like this before you go away because you won't necessarily be able to find them once you get there. And it's important to get ones that feel comfortable and fit them well. So I've got these ones and these ones are from Speedo. In terms of footwear around the pool, we used to always buy these type of Crocs for the boys, but they are a little bit clumpy and sometimes my three-year-old would fall over in them. So while these are really, really great, this year I have bought them the sandal croc. So they're brilliant. They're the same kind of material. They're really
really, really comfortable and the boys can still put them on themselves because they are very simple to Velcro on. Yeah, I just think they're really, really good for daytime wear. I found these ones on Amazon for 18 pounds and I will link everything that I'm talking about down below, by the way. I also wanted to show you the boys' Birkenstocks. Basically, when we're on holiday, we tend to just take Birkenstocks like this and also sandal crocs like this and then in the airport they wear trainers So these are good whether you wear them in the day or at night. They're really comfortable So yeah, I wanted to show you those as well while we're on holiday as well I wanted to show you these little grows that my baby boy basically just lives in I have like about ten of them that I'm gonna bring with us I love it because it is a whole outfit in one and then he is really really comfortable You can get great ones. Look at this one <laughs> from next and also from F and F from Tesco. I love them. They're just so comfortable and they're really like space saving to pack. I also wanted to show you these mosquito repellent bands. Obviously it depends where you're going, but we're going to Spain so there may be some mosquitoes there and I don't really want to spray the boys all over in mosquito repellent every night. So we used these when we went to the Dominican Republic recently and they were really good. Um, the boys didn't necessarily want to wear the bands around their wrist, so I ended up putting them around one of their ankles each and yeah, they didn't really get bitten very much at all, so I think that they worked or there weren't that many in Dominican, <laughs> but um, I think they're a really good idea and yeah I thought it was worth showing you those I actually ended up buying this in the airport on the way but I will try and link some down below also for the boys I love taking away this very concentrated squash from Robinson's it is 0% sugar you can get it in loads of different flavors we have summer fruits and blackcurrant and apple and I just really like it because just a few drops of this turns water into squash when you go away if you go to resorts or even when you're on the plane etc you don't want your children to have non-stop apple juice or orange. There's so much sugar in it. So I just buy water and if they really don't want just plain water, I will just put a few drops of this into it and they drink more fluids, I feel. And when we're going to the airport, because you can't take drinks through with you, I will just pack one of these in my carry-on and when we get through, buy bottles of water and then I can always sweeten them up with this if they want me to. We also bring cups for our children and because they are still quite young and they spill things all of the time, I will bring a few beakers like this Tommy TP one for our baby and then also cups for the children to have around the pool. If your baby isn't potty trained as well, you'll want to bring away with you nappies and swimming nappies as well. I bring about seven nappies per day. I normally use about five nappies a day, so that gives me a little bit of extra. And when I'm traveling in my carry-on, I will normally pack one nappy per hour of of travel so if we're leaving the house at 10 but we're not actually getting there until 12 hours later I will pack 12 nappies in my carry-on because you don't want to be without and if your child ended up getting a stomach bug or something like that you will want to have extra so I have been loving pull-ups at the moment and they will be really practical for when I'm by the pool and also swimming nappies and I recently heard a rumor that you can actually reuse swimming nappies if you sort of rinse them out and dry them that sounded a little bit strange to me because they are, they say that they're disposable. But sometimes if your baby gets in the pool and it only spends like 10 to 15 minutes in the pool, I think that you probably can kind of rinse them out and dry them and they will work as well maybe a couple of more times. I don't know, I'm gonna give it a try this holiday, but they are very expensive to buy, so I can see why some mums would be tempted to do that, but you will need this, because you do not want a code brown in the pool. <laughs> when we go away as well, I always take a stain remover bar away with us. This is a vanish one, and it literally looks like a bar of soap. This is from our last holiday. So whether you have laundry facilities or not, you could rinse out the item in a sink, use vanish on it and then try and get the stain out and let's face it with kids there are a lot of stains <laughs> if you have a baby as well definitely take away a baby carrier with you or a baby wrap if they're a newborn this is so great especially when you're traveling on the plane and when you get off the plane at the other end and you don't have a buggy it is so handy to have a baby carrier like this it's also great when you're on holiday especially if you're going sightseeing or hiking or somewhere with lots of stairs that isn't very buggy friendly. Uh, my baby loves to be close to me and being able 
able to see everything that I'm seeing. So yeah, this is really handy when you're away. You'll also want to get a camera so that you can capture all of your memories on your holiday. I definitely think it's worth investing in an actual like DSLR if you can afford it. Obviously your phone is great, but you can get really good qualities on a slightly better DSLR. In terms of medicine, I always take away Calpol. This is a baby paracetamol or baby painkiller, just in case any of the children get ill or my baby starts teething very badly or gets a fever. Um, I also always take away with me saline nasal spray. This is good if my baby did catch a cold um, and couldn't breathe through his nose. This really, really helps. I'm also taking away liquid Ambisol for any teething pain and teeth powder as well. And the last thing I thought that was worth mentioning for my older children is the book that we take. We still like to read stories at bedtime on holiday and the Mr. Men books are great because they are so small and thin but they are actually quite long stories and also the Thomas the Tank Engine stories are very similar as well. So I can take about seven of these, one for every night and it really doesn't take up much space in my suitcase. And I also wanted to show you this cover that I got on Amazon. It is basically a big red bag that says gate check stroller and you basically, it folds up really really tiny so you can pack it in the bottom of the buggy and then when you get to the gate check you can put your buggy in that bag and it's very bright and noticeable so that when you get to the other end you will see it on the carousel and it all stays together in one piece. I feel like it's a bit safer in that bag. For the buggy that we take away with us you can buy an official travel bag for it but it was so much more expensive than just buying this red bag that I found on Amazon. I will link this bag down below and I will put links to everything that I've talked about down below as well. But yes, I hope you liked this video and I hope you got something from it. Please add any of your tips or essentials in the comments below because we are going away very soon and I would love to hear them. And yes, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye guys!